Alright guys, today's video showing you guys how to carve. <laughs> Similar to turning, but not fully turning. So we're gonna do this video on just carving. Put your feet on there just like you would normally. Whatever stamps you feel comfortable with. I normally like to have a little bit of toes sticking over the edge of my right foot. Yeah, kind of a good amount more on the front just by a smidge. Keeping your knees nice and locked in, kind of waving back and forth like that. Uh, you're pretty much just locking it all in. The only thing that's moving is really just your waist, maybe a little bit of your ankle shift. And you just lock your legs from the waist down all the way in. The whole time you are kind of like pivoting with your with your upper body and your chest. Yeah, I'm just kind of twisting like this. You see my hand, that's kind of like the momentum or the movement I'm doing. Top three things that are best about carving. You're able to kind of control the board better. Foot fatigue, it's the worst. Every beginner gets it. Some of us riders that have been doing this for a while still get it from time to time. Especially if you haven't ridden in a long time, you'll get it. And I feel like the, one of the best ways that I was told when I was beginning and I was always getting foot fatigue. Blood flow for your feet is carving. Making sure you're kind of going heel toe, moving your feet around, get the blood flowing, not having any pain and not having any numbness come through when you are carving. So if you don't, it's gonna suck. You're gonna get numbness if you don't carve. Another thing that's good about carving and what helps with the carving is slowing down. It helps you slow down the momentum how quickly you are going. And another thing, carving just looks cool. It looks like a snowboard. 